Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kelly Kay, and today I want to ask, is it a sin to get a tattoo? Because I've heard lots of Christians say like, oh, it's a sin. And I've heard other Christians be like, no, nah, it's okay. And I'm all like, that's just your opinion, man. But what's the Bible say? Now you probably know the only reference to the word tattoo in the Bible is Leviticus 19, right? That's where it says you should not mark your body, cut your body, or tattoo your body in remembrance of the dead. And that is definitely the go-to tattoo scripture. The only problem is, is that debate kind of loses itself when you start reading the rest of Leviticus 19. It says don't mix materials in your clothes. Don't eat a raw steak. Don't cut the sides of your hair. Don't trim your beard. And make sure you stand up for anyone with gray hair when they enter a room. So now that leaves us with a question. If we can't get tattoos, why are we still doing all the rest of those things? Since with Leviticus we're basing everything on law, let's look at what Jesus says about the law. In Matthew 22, the Pharisees asked Jesus exactly that. Which of the laws is the most important? To which Jesus replies, One, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Two, love your neighbor as yourself. I didn't read any of those in Leviticus. So Jesus is saying, love me, love your neighbor. That's what you need to focus on. Man, we still haven't got it. Is it a sin or is it not? So the go-to scripture in the New Testament for tattoos has always been 1 Corinthians 6, which states that your body is a temple. And yes, it is, and you should take care of that temple. However, however, let's look at the context of that scripture. That scripture is right after another one, which is telling you to flee from all sexual immorality. So it's not really talking about tattoos at all. It's talking about sex. Could it apply to tattoos? Sure, absolutely. Did it? No, which leads me to 1 Corinthians 10, which says, all things are lawful for me, but not all are beneficial to me. So is it okay for me to get a tattoo? Probably so. Does that mean I should? Not necessarily. Wait a minute, so which side are you on? I'm on the side that says Jesus loves me no matter what, and he has come into my heart and changed me from the inside out. I know that I am a spirit with a soul inside of a body. Once I got saved, that spirit has been made perfect. It can't be any more perfect than it already is the second I was saved. My soul is a work in progress, which is me renewing my mind daily to be more like Christ instead of like this world. The third piece is the body. And this body, thank God, is temporary. And it's not going to last forever. And when we die, it dies. It's done. This is not the body we will have in heaven. So am I worried about these tattoos on this body? Not at all. All things are lawful but all things are not beneficial. However, because I have these tattoos, because I look the way that I do, I have an ability to reach a certain type of people that maybe you can't, and you can reach people that I can't. The point is, Jesus has a special call and plan for each of us that's different from the rest. That doesn't mean he loves you more than me or he loves me more than you. The key piece to remember is Jesus said the two most important things are to love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself, regardless of what's on their skin. To change this world, we're going to have to love this world. That doesn't mean you have to love everything about it. But when it comes to people, you have to remember that Jesus loves them as much as he loves you, and he's looking at their heart just as much as he's looking at your heart. So in conclusion, is it a sin to get a tattoo? Based off the scripture I've read and getting to know Jesus through many years, I don't think so. Does that mean you should get one? I don't know. Maybe you should pray about it. Thank you guys so much for your time today. I love you. Jesus loves you. I'm blessed. You be blessed. Until next time, we'll see you later.